what is going on guys and today I have a Zamorakian solo Gold Wars dungeon guide for you I'm going to show you a couple main parts in the video first I'm going to show you gear and inventory and some side notes like familiars and that I'm going to get into the guide now I'm going to show you loot from I think it's going to be three hours of killing Zami boss. So yeah, let's get into the guide. So getting on with the guide, I'm going to the to do the familiar section now. You can use a steel titan. However, it it should only be used on shorter trips for half an hour to an hour and a half. It helps hit, but it limit limits the amount of prayer potions and food you can take with you. Obviously, the pack yak is one of the best to take because it holds 30 items, which you can store prayer potions and food in there and everything. And then we have the unicorn, which is used for health because you don't really need much food in Zami, so you can just fill your inventory up with prayer pots. Now, moving on to the gear and inventory. Right, now moving on to the lower level setup. You can see we are using the God Sword. It's a Bandos God Sword, but any God Sword will do. If you have Chaotix or Dry Gods, feel free to use them. We're using a Skill Cape. Feel free to take higher. Same as the Dragon Boots and the Region Bracelet. Uh, you, you'll need a Zami item because you don't have a God uh, like a next item, so you'll be protected from Bandos and Zami. And we're using Verax. It's a cheap, simple way to go, and it gives some prayer bonus. So we're using a Fury. If you can't afford a Fury, you can use a um, Glory or a Strength Family or something like that. Then we're using a Hell and Neat is not. If you have, if you're on a Slayer task of Greater Demons, definitely wear the Slayer Helm. It will help so much when you're actually fighting the boss. Now moving on to the inventory, we ha we have got portents of restoration. You should definitely buy a couple of these because they help when you get really low health, and they're only a couple k. We have eight prayer flasks, and two super attack, and two st two super strength. You can exchange them down to vials if you want. Now we have an enhanced Excalibur for our special attack weapon. Obviously specials don't really get used, but if you want to use this, you take it because all you gotta do is wield it and go on the equipment tab, right click it, activate, and you will start healing, healing a bit of health. We then let then have ten ten rock tails, uh, another spare tortoise pouch, and Titan's Constroll. The reason I'm using the war tortoise is because many of you lower level players probably don't have a yak. If you have a yak, take it. Same with the titan, if you have a unicorn, take it over the titan. Now moving on to the familiar, we have got uh, 15 rock tails, so I just have to count there, and then we have the fire titan pouch. Like I said, if you have a unicorn, take it. We, last of all, we have a Trollheim tablet. If you don't have that, you can simply walk there or teleport with two law runes and two fire. And then you can do the drop trick, which is highly important. Well, not important, but you'll get what I mean. Right. Now, moving on to the higher level setup. We are wearing full superior Tetsu for the defense bonuses what it gives. A superior Sea Singer's hood. A kiln cape, you can replace that for a uh, comp cape, max cape, whatever. Two of gloves for all round God Wars dungeon item. The fire fins ring. Uh, sign of item protection, which is really handy to have. Vampirism or Rage boots. And the main two weapons, obviously, are dry gores. Like the other setup, we're using an, an enhanced Excalibur. And 
actually, I want to be grabbing my Slayer Helm out because I am actually on a Slayer task. So, let's grab that rock tower. Yep, now moving on to the gear, we have three hours of overload, teleport, three rock tails, two prayer floss, two emergency brews. You don't want panic if you use them. It's natural, probably. <laughs> then three super stores, the Excalibur, two yak vouchers, scrolls. Then moving on to the yak, we have six rock tails, twenty prayer pots, four rock tails, and the unicorn. Wait. Now, to get there, you want to break your Trollheim tablet. You want to recharge your summoning points, and then you can obviously you climb over this rock for the sake of it. And then do the same with this one. Just making sure I haven't forgot anything. I don't think I have. A tip is if you quick hop wells, uh, just like going like that, uh, you will get faster kills. But Zami, Zami drops are quite nice. To be fair, I think the guard and gown are like eight to ten mil or something like that, and they they keep that price, so it's very stable, and it can get quite busy. So having two wells to switch between after each kill can be a big get like when someone nicks your world it's a bit annoying so yeah you wanna go down this hole obviously I'm presuming if you're going for a solo you've been here before and pretty much you wanna kill the imps in here first you know, maybe a few blood bells or something there we go and I might as well just kill this hellhound Then you to, then you want to jump over this broken bridge. And as you can see, there we go. Then in here we have five imp spawns to this end of the area. And then I'll show you where the other three are. After you kill them all, you might you might want to kill some uh, werewolves, uh, spiritual warriors, and that. But what I usually do is hot worlds. Because it's just quicker overall. So I'll quickly show you that. Obviously get out of combat. When it does, come on, hurry up. And then quick join that. Oh hello. Please wait. There we go. And there we go, we've got five more spawns. Oh no, I've lagged. No, I haven't. There we go. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run through my ability bar. Then I will uh, show you a few kills and then I'm going to move on to the lower level setup so my ability bar pretty much consists of slice, punish, destroy, sever, destroy, no that's not this decimate sorry, destroy, slaughter, assault, december, anticipate, anticipation, whatever, flurry, I don't use flurry by the way, berserk, I don't really use berserk Blood tendrils. There, don't worry about that. And barricade. But yeah. Now I'm going to get the rest of my kill count, and I shall be with you in a bit. Right. So when you have found a world, you might be a bit low on health. So what you want to do is first activate your aura, pot up, make sure you're. Quick prayers are on Soul Split, Turmoil, and Protect Item. 
then you quickly want to activate your uh, Excalibur then you want to go in you want to get on Krill Tessaroth wait oh, I can't even enough but you know what I mean as quick as possible he has this special attack which will hit from 4 to um from 2k to 5 or 6k he done it already but I missed it and then you want uh, you just want to pretty much get your uh, thresholds off as quick as possible you may see I'm getting damage there but that's actually just from the tendrils and there you go that's a special attack once you killed that you want to get on the mage minion and what have we got? We've got Lantern Dine Seeds, so. We just want to keep killing it. Don't worry if your health is low at this point because you can use the ability um, either Ice Elysium or Guthix Blessing, which is like one of the really good ones. You can only use it once every five, four or five minutes, I think, so. Yeah. But on the next kill, you want to regenerate. There we go, I'm going to guff its bless. Then I'm going to pick up them lantern dice needs and then bank ju just the um, uh, boss, actual boss in ashes. Because I'm doing a. Uh, I'll probably spoil it for you now, but I'm doing going to do a series of 1000 Sammy boss. So yeah. Then you want to pick up the wine, and then you just want to wait for the spawn. If you are hopping between worlds, how come they didn't even pray there? But yeah, if you're hopping between the worlds, you can use um, Gothic Blessing every single kill, so it's quite handy. And other other another thing is if you can pick these drops up. So when he spawns, you wanna get on him again. Keep killing him. I'm a bit laggy now, so yep. assault and destroy are probably two of the best thresholds to use for me anyway. Because it gets me down so fast. And here's that special attack again, 4.8k. When that happens, just don't worry. You should be able to heal enough with soul split. Then you want to ten drills again. That will get him down super fast as well. And there you go, he's down again. Pretty much what I like to do is get um, two kills per overload dose. So in a three hour trip, that'll be how old fuck how many doses is that? Why did I do that? Um, times. What? I don't even know what I'm doing now. Uh, so, so you should be able to get around about 70, 70 to 80 kills a trip with this gear and everything. And Addy Plate. So I'm just going to eat that Rocktail for the hell of it. And then I like to bank for like addy plates, rune items and that, so once again we'll bank that. Then right now you just wanna wait for the spawn and I shall complete this trip and then I shall move show you all the loot from that trip and then move on to my lower level setup. So yes, look out for that. Right, so what is going on guys and I've just got my first drop. <clears throat> it is a hood, but still, it's still pretty good by any means. I'm just going to kill this last one. Uh, you notice the kill count, that's not accurate, because I DC'd and teleported out. So I just add 40 on for that, so I'm on about 70. Uh, let me just eat that. I'm actually quite happy, to be fair. I think it's around 2... 2 mil, I'm going to actually, I'm going to get 
Well, that's disappointing. Might as well drop that. Oh, there's going to be more on that. Nah, of course I'm going to pick it up still. Goes to my tab of 1000, so yeah. I shall record either at the end of the trip or when I get another drop. See ya. Um, so after the minion, uh, yeah, just the minion now. Uh, the next kill after my hood, I have received a war priest of Zamorak Cape. So it's not a, a tradable drop, but. It completes my war priest set, I think. Unless I need the legs, I'm not sure. But still, another drop, and I shall see you soon. So I have actually decided to end that trip after just one hour. But as you can see, here's the loot I got. 22 kills, so yeah, like I said, about 60, 70 kills a trip. But the reason I ended it is because it's getting late, and I want to show you the lower level kill. And then I gotta render it and edit it and everything, then upload it tonight. Then but tomorrow I'm gonna be working on my Corporal Beast one. I've done a few more ta uh, kills today. I got another Onyx Bolts and that. And I'm gonna be working on my DK's one as well, so I shall see you at the door with my lower level gear set up with 40k C. Right, so I have killed it and once again this is my ability bar. Slice December, Smash, Punish, Cleave, Quake, Assault, Hurricane, Overpower, Anticip Anticipation, Freedom, Sever, Blood Tendrils, and Berserk. So when you're here, you want to do your ex Enhanced Excalibur special. Pot up. Now, obviously, this is a lower level um, gear setup. So if you don't have Soul Slick, just throw Mage and Piety. Then you want to go in. Oh, lag. Oh, there we go. And you just want to try deal off as much damage as you possibly can. You probably will get hit hard. I'm actually not getting that hard, hit hard at the moment. And you shouldn't hit too badly to be fair so I'll just keep him going there you are, and there's that attack what he does so when he does that if you're low on health just eat your rock tail keep your prayer up as well here we go assault obviously you're not going to hit as high as other people so if they crash well someone tries to crash you there's been a cunt so yep either just tell them to leave or you might have to leave yourself I'm afraid but and there you go you got the kill down I actually forgot how many I got left so well, I'm going to finish that tomorrow morning and I shall see you next time bye